hollow. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> Um, well, okay, thank you. Uh, can you give us some more information about yourself? Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Um, sure. What's your proposition? The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? What is your decision, yes? It pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. The white sign soapstone. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits cross the gaps between the world and engage in jolly cooperation of course we are not the only ones engaged in this but i am a warrior of the sun spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura if you miss it you must be blind <laughs> okay thanks solaire solaire is our sun bro we will be using him a lot on our quest to do Sunbro things, so we don't have to fight bosses by ourself. I'm going to be making a lot of use of him, considering recording this is making me lag a lot, and I want the leeway. Shut up. Okay. So we got this bridge here. This bridge uh, appears to have recently um, had a fire issue, which is your only warning as to what will happen if you try to cross it. Let's creep on up. Oh, I feel it. Ow. Woo. He didn't one-shot me. I'll give him that. That would have been mean, Mr. Dragon. I'm glad you didn't one-shot me. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go the distance. Go the distance. Why, why am I jittering? Come on. There we go. Alright. Damnable dragon. Let's go down here. And we are going to kick this ladder. Show you ladder. And the ladder provides us a shortcut back to this here bonfire down here. Happily, merrily, hooray. So let's rest at this here bonfire. And we are going to put points in dexterity and get our dexterity up to the point where we can actually use the weapon we just got. Um, and also, I think I'm going to hold on to my other souls because I'm not sure how many I need for the other thing I'm about to get. Okay. So now we got dexterity. We are going to pull out our bow with the arrows in it. We're going to head all the way back up here. And we are now going to do something very, 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 very boring. But necessary for those that want some leeway through this next tier area. It also makes the first boss that is genuinely hard, genuinely a lot easier. Especially if you fight him by yourself without Solaire's help. I will demonstrate how that works shortly, by the way. Also, I should probably start putting that white sign soapstone down in order to help other people when I can. But anyway, um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to come all the way over here. I think this is a good spot. Flip to our bow. Knock an arrow. And you see this tail here. Well, this tail is going to get shot. It's going to get shot an awful lot. I 
And I will fast forward until the, ta the tail is done being shot, and it might take a while because I suck at aiming and shooting this thing. And there it is! Wow. I, I don't know how long I was sitting there shooting, but we finally have the Drake Sword. Drake Sword is a terrible, shitty, poopy weapon, and it's really bad, but for our current purposes, it is amazing. Morningstar does 83 damage, the Drake Sword does 200. So why am I calling this a bad weapon? Well, if you look at it, you are going to see down here in the parameter bonuses that it has no build off of your stats. Zero. Um, we have the 16 strength and the 10 dexterity in order to be able to wield it, but due to the fact that it doesn't scale with any of our stats, it eventually will become very bad and uh, it will outgrow the rest of our equipment. But that won't happen for a little while. Um, it is important that you try to replace the Drake Sword as quickly as possible once you get it. But that being said, it's it's truly hard to pin down exactly when you will replace it. But heck, now that we've got it, um, I'm going to go down and I'm going to go train my stuff we got some souls and I just wanted to make sure that I'd be able to actually equip this thing because now that we have the Drake sword we can actually do something really cool with it all right we've got the 16 strength we need we've got the 12 dexterity we're gonna put a lot of points in endurance yeah endurance is a really good stat for us we need to just basically keep stacking that for now um, the goal with Endurance is we need to get it to at least 40 in order to be able to use uh, some really good armor later and be able to cheese a couple of the bosses with our really good armor later. But we want to get that to 40 and then we want to get our strength to 50 and that will be our goals for our stats. And somewhere in there we need to weave some health um, because we do not have enough health to last us through the game and I'm just baiting the dragon so it murders everything off the bridge for us. Excuse moi si vous plaît. Ow! Oh no, don't kill me Mr. Dragon, don't kill me. Don't kill me, 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 don't kill me. Okay. The dragon didn't kill me, thank god. Okay. Now that we managed to do that, and we didn't piss off the dragon, I'm going to unequip this ring because we don't need it anymore for what we're going to do. We are going to make an attempt to kill that thing below the stairs. How well it's going to go, I can't tell you to be sure. But now that we have the Drake Sword, it will be a hell of a lot easier to actually kill him. And... You can't really do this unless you have the master key. This guy down here, you're not supposed to fight him until way later, but the thing he drops is so good that to most new players it's recommended that you go ahead and test your luck and try to kill him. And I'm just going to do that here in a bit. I'm probably going to lose a lot of souls and die a fair amount trying to do this, but I'm going to I'm going to fling myself at him until I manage to get it done. And there he is, Mr. Havel himself. Okay. Mr. Havel. Uh, we do have a 100% physical... Oh my god. You are not someone I wanted to see down here, Mr. Guy. Can I take care of you with a fireball? Okay, thank god. Phew. This, far, this shit's hard enough with just Havel here. But once you get Havel's attack patterns down, he's actually fairly simple. You just if if you get touched by him, he will fucking murder you. 
But us having 100% physical resist shield is going to make this a lot easier on us as long as he doesn't just straight up whack us through the shield. Uh, we want to stay close to him if we can. If we get a backstab on him, it'll be good. We want to get as many backstabs as we can. Ooh. Okay, okay, Mr. Havel. Okay, okay, okay. Whew. This is intense. This is... <laughs> if he hits me, you'll know. I'll be dead instantly. Okay, okay, Mr. Havel. <sighs> okay, okay, Mr. Havel. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Whew. Man, I'm liking this, uh, this shield right now. Whack! And in your butt! Okay. Let's keep it up. Good pace so far. How good this is going in par is partially due to the shield I have being able to absorb so much damage. Keep that in mind. It is truly godly having a hundred percent physical damage absorption. Okay, okay, okay. Whack! In your butt! Oh, we are so close. Okay. Whew. Whack in your butt! Did we kill him? We fucking killed Havel on our first try. Woo! Damn. And we got Havel's ring. Okay. Alright then. Let's go ahead and equip that. Havel's ring boosts our maximum equipment load to 84. A whopping number. And that's important because we always want to have at least half of our equipment load. Um, because that allows us to do something called a medium roll. A medium roll is... We might be able to do a fast roll now. That Yeah, I think that's a fast roll. But a medium roll is what you would call um, an average roll and average equipment. And a fat roll is when you have over half of your equipment burden, so to speak, um, equipped. And you do like a really clunky sort of roll. And I'll, I'll demonstrate all these rolls later. But we want to go ahead and get Havel's ring because it allows us to wear very heavy armor and be able to medium roll, which will allow us to survive things very easily. And I actually can't believe I did that in one attempt. So maybe I'm better at this game than I thought it was. Maybe I should give myself a little bit more credit. I don't know. All right. Well, this has been an exciting first recording session for me, but I think I'm going to stop and leave it here now that we are armed to the teeth, if I do say so myself. We have the Pyrom... We're still wearing Pyromancer ropes. I'm, I should have maybe gone and gotten some better armor from the uh, undead vendor, but um, we'll, we'll be getting better armor soon anyway. We have our... Uh, dragon... Dragon, please don't kill me. Okay, okay, let's try to dodge the dragon. We have our Black Knight shield, an unexpected benefit this early in the playthrough. Um, and we have the Drake sword, and those two things will carry us through a lot of the first part of this game. But they're not meant to last forever, there are better things that we can replace them with, and we will get that maybe next time, or the time after that. But we have a lot of gearing up to do and a lot of fiddling around before we get to our next boss. Because we want to make sure we are adequately prepared to kick its ass. We want to completely destroy the um, next boss we fight. So, for now, I leave you with this. Uh, I hope this series has been enjoyable so far and very informative. And I'm sorry if I haven't been completely optimal about how I've done everything. I think I forgot. Forgetting to get the ring was almost very embarrassing. But for now, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty solid with this. And I might tweak my graphical settings a little bit more so there's less jittering in my recordings. Um, but I'll just have to fiddle in order to get that. So I will see you all next time on Dark Souls.